Tile Print Mixed Media Fit and Flare Dress by Ishakti in a size 20W. So this dress is pretty cute. It does have pockets, as you can see, as my hands are hiding here. Uh, it did get some compliments at work, so that was always nice to, to get. And in general, I thought it was pretty cute. It was nice for a warmer weather scenario. Uh, right now it's about in the upper 80s to 90s in California. And so I've really been relying heavily on kind of the shoulder, uh, shoulder dresses or sleeveless dresses for a lot of my office wear where I can get by with it. So, and this one is cute enough on the front. Um, it does show a little bit of bra. There's a little bit of bra uh, dippage in this one, but it's cute enough on the design in the front that I could get by with without wearing like a jacket on it. Uh, it has kind of a fake, uh, almost like a fake camisole kind of vest idea that's actually part of the dress, is sewn into the dress, so I thought that was kind of a cute detail. The fabric is a little bit on the stiff side, so it does provide some structure to the upper part of the dress. And the skirt is lined, which is always nice, especially when you're talking about skirts with lighter colors. Um, the pattern makes me feel a little bit like a uh, tile in a Dutch hotel because of the patterning and the coloration on it, which I don't mind too much. It's kind of pretty, but the, um, the, the skirt is a little bit polyester-ish in the swishing of it, so it, it's a little bit kind of like a little girl party dress. Not too much. I've definitely had other dresses that were much worse, but there is a um, back zip to it, but I didn't need it. Uh, but just be aware that it's there if you if you do need it. I did find during the course of the day, though, that this area here, which is very unforgiving, uh, did tend to get a little bit uncomfortable towards the end of the day. It felt a little bit too stiff after a while. So there's there's no stretch at all in the waist. So just be aware of that if you carry your your weight in the middle. Um, this might be tight on you, and I did find that to be the case as the day progressed. Um, as I was wearing it, I would find that this would end up riding up under my boobs and end up becoming a little bit more like a maternity dress, which isn't what it's really intended to look like, though. Pockets are definitely a bonus. We like that. Uh, but I think this one's going to be a one and done for me. Um, cute, but eventually became uncomfortable. Jungle Leaf Pencil Skirt by Melissa McCarthy 7, size 2X. Okay, so pay no mind to the top in this scenario. This was just put on for the purposes of the video. We're focusing on the skirt here, which you can see is quite long on me. In order for me to actually wear this to work, I had to pull it way up, so the waistband is actually right up here. Uh, you can kind of show you how, hard, how high it goes up. Uh, that's so that I didn't, you know, have it dragging on the ground. So um, I liked the skirt for a lot of reasons and didn't like it for a lot of reasons. Number one, it's a very thick knit, which is not so good in the summertime. Uh, but it is good in terms of not having to wear any additional shapewear underneath this. I felt like it was holding things in place pretty well, especially this waistband, which is kind of double double enforced, so it really does feel like its own shapewear on this. Um, so you could definitely get by without wearing shapewear underneath it, as long as you don't mind still having a few lumpy bumpies here and there, because that's maybe just the way your body goes. But uh, mine definitely got defined a little bit, but not too bad. Um, the length of the skirt is definitely an issue for me only because the challenge with wearing something up so high throughout the day is that because I work in an office environment where I'm sitting down and typing a lot, uh, this had a tendency not to roll, which is a good thing, but it ended up becoming a little bit too tight uh, over time, just it felt too constrictive. And by the time I got home, I was really ready to take this thing off. I just felt like it was a pain in more, more ways than one. 
but uh, it does have the back kick pleat, which is probably off center during the course of this video, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, no zip, it is a pull on, but it's pretty stretchy, even though it is definitely very form fitting and very um, scuba knit like in terms of that structure. Uh, it's definitely easy to maneuver in and out of, and it stretches and uh, moves over everything okay. And I like the pattern of it. It's kind of a nice um, pattern. So if you are a someone who is looking for a skirt for a transitional period, like maybe summer into fall, and you're looking for something to kind of bridge those cooler but not cold days, this might be a really good option for you because it's definitely kind of geared in that direction and you could see maybe wearing this with um, some nice boots or booties would be really, really cute. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, this might be it. Charmaine dress in wax geo print by Tarte Collections in a size 2X. You know me, I don't hardly ever read descriptions on dresses, so when I saw this online I thought it was a black and white dress, but getting it in person it's actually a navy and white dress, so I kind of like this even better than I thought I would. It's very lightweight, very comfortable, very soft, which is nice, and it is a true wrap style dress, so if you are skittish of wrap dresses and genuine generally tend to avoid them, this would be one that you would need to put on your no list because it is a genuine wrap style dress. What that means is that it is fully open in the front and then you rely on the ties and uh, configuring this to hold everything together. It does have the side slit on the one side to thread the, the sash through. And the one thing that I found was really nice with this dress that isn't always the case with wrap dresses is that the sash is very long. It is well long enough to wrap around and tie in a secure position. So I don't feel like this is going to unravel on me at any point or you know cause me any issues. I've got plenty of, of room to work with on this one. Um, the other thing that I really like about this is the fancy cutouts in the back that add a little bit more skin and a little bit more air and flair to the dress, but don't actually show my bra, which is an issue that I often run into with dresses that have cutouts in the back for me, and I don't know if this is just because I'm so short or what, but in a lot of cases it ends up showing... Um, at least a little bit of my bra and this one doesn't and I think that that's really awesome so I haven't had a chance to wear this one to work yet but we have hot weather all this week so I think the timing of it is perfect and um, I actually really like this dress it's very comfortable I'm looking forward to wearing it polka dot side tie dress by Tahari ASL in 20W so there's something about this dress that makes me think of a different era, and I'm not sure if it's the, the pattern on it. I think it's actually probably a combination of the pattern and the style in the fabric. Uh, definitely the diamond pattern is a little bit um, different than a typical polka dot. I mean, from afar it kind of looks like a polka dot, but it's definitely a diamond pattern instead. And it's got a little tie on the side here to mimic a wrap dress, but it's not actually a wrap dress. So it just kind of ruches everything over to one side and kind of gives you a little bit more of a, uh, a defined waist. And with the drape of the top, it just definitely kind of um, adds a little bit more drama to it. And then the pleating and the skirt, there's something that for me makes me kind of think 1940s maybe. I don't know, those of you who are a little bit more into fashion might be able to correct me on that, but there's something about this that just, I don't know, makes me think of a different era. Um, the one thing that I don't really like too much about it is the tie just kind of makes this side kind of gape a little bit, like poof a little bit, and that's a little annoying. And um, the, the fabric isn't terribly forgiving, so if you carry your weight here, you might find it uh, a little tight. Um, 
it's not too tight for me, but I can definitely feel that it could get that way if I had a really large lunch or if I gained a couple more pounds. So uh, I'm definitely kind of on the borderline with this one. I've worn it once to work. I'm probably going to wear it one more time because I do really like the style of it. Uh, but this isn't a long term one for me. Um, this, this does have a back zip to it, just kind of a dainty little one if you need some help getting in and out of it. And it is lined. So, uh, you know, you do have a little lining going on there. Uh, static is an issue I had with this dress, especially getting out of the car and off of anything that had like fabric seats. Just be aware that static might be an issue for you. Um, but if you're interested in trying something that's a little bit retro in feel, uh, but definitely also looks very modern in a lot of ways, I would give this one a go. Um, right now it's a little hot for me because it is in the, the upper 80s, 90, 90 degree weather and this fabric isn't terribly breathable, but in an air conditioned office it wasn't very bad. so. Just bear that in mind if you're thinking about this, but you know, if you're going to like a retro dinner or if you're going to uh, like an evening wedding or something like that, this might be a fun one to consider. Twin Global Short Sleeve Shift Dress by London Times in 20W. I kind of like this dress. I've worn it a couple of times to work and it's pretty comfortable. I think what I like about it is that it's pretty easy. Uh, it's just, you know, basically a shift dress, so it goes over the head pretty simply. Uh, it doesn't really require any shapewear, although I could use some, maybe, um, to flatten out some of my belly, but, you know, I don't really care too much because the shift dresses are so generally loose and flowing. And, um, you know, it's pretty easy to, you know, style and it's lightweight and uh, like kind of having that sort of thing for around the office. Um, my boss referred to this as the optical illusion dress uh, because it does funny things to her eyes when I wear it. So for her sake, I'm going to go ahead and send this one back and not wear it to the office anymore. The last thing I need to do is make my boss dizzy. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so just be forewarned that some people may, uh, may find this a hard one to take a look at, but I liked it. I like the colors on it. The pink and the purple were kind of fun, and it's pretty lightweight and easy to wear. No, no back zip. The neckline on this one is a little bit higher than I typically would expect with a shift dress, and so it feels a little bit odd. It definitely feels more like a t-shirt up here than a typical dress, and so because of that, there's a little bit of pulling on the shoulders that I'm not used to. Um, it's not uncomfortable, it's just strange because I'm not used to it. So I kind of didn't really like that too much. But other than that, I was pretty happy with the dress. So too bad it makes my boss dizzy. Short sleeve fit and flare dress in ink by Ellen Tracy in 20W. I don't know what it is about this fabric that wants to grab onto my hair so much but I am finding all the loose hairs that I've shed while wearing this dress just stuck to the fabric. I've, I've been starting to worry that I've got bald patches at this point by the amount of strands that I keep picking off. So I don't know if it's just me or if it's a problem with the fabric, but just be forewarned of that just in case. Um, other than that, this dress was okay. Um, the drop waist on this kind of reminds me of an old school tennis outfit. So there was an element of me feeling like, I don't know, 1940s, getting ready to go out onto the grass court or something. I'm not really sure. But um, there's something about it just kind of reminds me of a, a tennis outfit. Um, other than that, it was pretty comfortable. Um, the knit is thick, but it's not stiff the way a scuba knit is. Uh, it's just a, a thicker knit, and it is pretty stretchy, which is nice. Uh, the one thing that I found was annoying was the sleeves. I don't really like where they hit. They're not quite a, you know, half sleeve, but they're not quite sleeveless either. They just kind of hit in a strange spot. Um, so even though the dress itself isn't tight, it felt like the arms were tight when I would stretch. 
Um, it, it's kind of a weird sensation, and I'm not really sure how to explain it other than other than that. Um, it's not a tight dress on me. The armholes feel fine. There's plenty of room, as you can see. But for some reason, just where it hits me here on the arm, it just it feels tight when I'm kind of flexing around. So it's bizarre. The other thing that I didn't like about it is that the stitching on the arm, on one arm is coming undone. So it ends up looking, you know, kind of worn a little bit because the frayed edges are showing. So that's something I'll have to call to their attention when I send this back and hopefully they can restitch that because it's a little sloppy looking. Um, there is a back zip. It is a tone on tone zip. Uh, but again, this fabric does have some stretch. So unless you're uh, really kind of pulling it tight with um, with your upper portion getting into this dress as far as measurements are concerned you should be okay with just pulling it over uh, the dress is also lined which of course adds another layer to it and is a little bit why it's you know feeling a little on the thick side but it's nice that it is uh, lined just to kind of smooth things down and, and let the dress uh, flow so it's not riding up or anything like that so yeah I think other than the sleeve issue and the hair grabbing thing which might be just me but other than the sleeve issue I really like this dress um, and I probably would have kept it to wear at least one or two more times but the sleeve thing was ended up kind of being a deal breaker for me by the end of the day I was just finding it really annoying so be forewarned Give it a shot, but just be forewarned. Short sleeve crepe collar block sheath dress by Tahari ASL in 20W. So this is a very sporty and comfortable dress. It definitely has a little bit of a flair of athletic wear in it. It's one of those scuba net dresses, but it's not super tight the way that a lot of scuba net dresses can be. There's a lot of stretch to it, so... Uh, it's not uncomfortable the way some scuba nets can be, but it definitely does feel thick like a scuba net typically does. So uh, it's not probably the best dress to wear in 90 degree weather, which is what we're having right now. But in the office, it's all right. Uh, the geek in me refers to this as my Star Trek dress. And for those of you who are fans of Star Trek, you'll probably kind of see some similarities with it in terms of just kind of general styling and colors. I feel like I need one of my little communicator badges here and then maybe I could be, you know, part of the, the medical officer's fleet or something. So this could be potentially like a, a um, cosplay costume idea for people who are looking to double dip and have, you know, a dress as well as a costume maybe for Halloween. Halloween's coming up, so here you go. Um, there is a back zip here. Uh, I didn't need it because most dresses I can usually just kind of pull over because of the fact that my upper portion is usually smaller than my lower portion, so I usually don't have any problems with pulling dresses over because the uh, the sizing is a little bit larger for me because I need to accommodate the lower regions, so the spike. But there is a zipper there if you need it. And uh, in general, I find this a pretty easy dress to wear. I've gotten compliments uh, on it at work. And, uh, you know, if I didn't get bored of clothes so easily, I probably would consider keeping this one. I've worn it three times at this point. But... I think it's time to let this one go. Just like, uh, you know, Star Trek, it needs to go off and visit other new worlds, so. Scuba Dress in Rose by Ellen Tracy in 20W. This is a very bold and bright dress for sure, and I had some kind of higher expectations for it because it does come from a brand that I really like. I was a little bit disappointed in this dress, primarily because of the extra accent on my little sausage roll area here that I was hoping would not be quite as prominent as it was. 
and it's a little hard to avoid in a really bright dress like this. Uh, it kind of stood out a little bit too much in my opinion, uh, which is kind of a bummer because in general it is a really comfortable dress. It's definitely well constructed. It has a uh, kind of gold tone back zip. Uh, if you need a, a zipper to get in and out, I didn't. I can just pull it on over. It is a scuba knit and there is a lining in the same color as the dress, so that's nice. And it has kind of a, a quilted design. I don't know how well that's going to come up, but the seaming, it's in the same color, but the seaming is kind of a quilted design um, down the, the upper portion of the dress, so it kind of stops here. Uh, the problem with that for me is that it kind of just served to emphasize a little bit more of this area that I'd rather not emphasize and so even though it fits well and it's really comfortable and I kind of like the dress and I definitely like the designer for me wearing this by the end of the day I just felt really self-conscious about this area and I just I couldn't wait to get home and, and get this off so this was not a confidence booster for me. Batik Stripe Brigitte Dress by Karen Kane in a 2X. Oh, sorry for the Star Wars socks there at the bottom, but uh, we're just going to focus on this part. Uh, I actually ended up being surprised by this dress when I first tried it on. I wasn't really all that impressed with it. It was okay, but it didn't really seem like it was my kind of thing. Uh, it's a pretty basic dress. Uh, it is a pullover sundress. The back dips the same way that the front does. Uh, the pattern is kind of a wave pattern and it's in various shades of blue. So, I mean, it was pretty simple, but I wasn't all that impressed with it when I tried it on. I was like, eh, that, this'll be fine. And uh, I don't know, maybe it was just the fact that we were heading into a, a pretty ugly heat period in our area, but I ended up wearing this about three or four times uh, in different variations. I had cardigans and stuff like that at, at different points, but ended up using this a, a couple of times more than I thought I was going to in the office during this time period. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm still not all that thrilled with how it looks on me. I'm not, you know, like, ooh, this is really cool, but it did its job, and uh, I got to respect a dress that can do that, so, you know, I'm not interested in keeping it, because you know me and how I am with my, my keeping preferences, but I was, um, pleasantly surprised by the um, the mileage I got out of this dress. So if you do like this pattern and you do really kind of dig the colors on this, you might want to consider giving this one a try because it's pretty easy going. It's simple, it's uh, not too thick, but it still provides decent coverage. It gives a little bit of skin exposure without being too uh, revealing if that's a concern of yours and it's a pretty lightweight dress so if you are traveling soon if you're going on a cruise if you're heading to Hawaii avoid the hurricane part but um, this might be something to think about adding to your closet and potentially to your permanent wardrobe if you're looking for just kind of an easy sundress